Hello everyone. This is Ankur Gupta and I work with Mindfair Solutions as a Java developer. This is my fourth video on Jasper reports. So in this video I will be talking about how to set a data source in i reports using Java Beans. This in this video it will describe a simple methodology of how to obtain data source the data set from the java beans into the i reports and use it to make a report there are basically two techniques to achieve this uh, now we can also make like beans we could put into a collection and return it into the i report and we could fetch it from there or rather we could cre uh, create an array pushing all the beans inside that and that could be fetched in i reports so for that there is a java code written let me just show you so this is the bean this is just a simple bean demonstrating this is called a person bean which contains two fields name and age so this is the setup function for the bean and this is for the getting the both of the fields so quite simple a bean so and another one is the factory class basically there are two classes which we require one is the bean class another one is the factory class which defines the factory function which returns the bean to i reports so here is the factory function see there is a function called generate collection so basically this is responsible for uh, generating a, the putting all the data in the bean and returning it as a collection so we could fetch it in the i reports so to start with the return type is collection as we require a collection then a vector collection is defined and all the instances just this is just a dummy values so i've just pushed it like this new person bean this name and age like four or six records are there so we, rather you could use a jdbc connection or any other connection you wish to like whatever suits your purpose to fetch the data and you could put into bean and return it as a collection like adding it into it and the collection and it returns the collection same as for the array array is the person bean array it returns array of beans basically is what we need so here the bean is declared and this again the same dummy values are pushed here the list 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so and this list is returned so now let me move to i reports so to set the connection what you need to do first of all you need to place compile that this uh, jar uh, this class and the person being class these two and the jar file generated you need to place it into the class path so tools options and then you could see a class path here class path so this is my jar sample disk jasper data source sample jar then i hit an ok now create a collection ok so i hit new then I go to JR data so sorry. Then I go to Java Bean set data source, and here we could give the name of the connection. And here we need to fill in the factory class, the factory class which returns the which which I showed you some time back. Let me just show you again. This is the factory class. So the qualified path should be there, like Java Bean set, which is my package name dot generate collection as we required the as first time showing you the how to put the collection thing so here is the collection here we need to put that let me just show you bean as in collection okay. see bean collection i've entered then is the factory class java bean set dot factory test factory then the option should be collection of java beans as we are returning the collection and here is a generate collection 
ओके सो लेट मी जस्ट टेस्ट इट इट से कनेक्शन टेस्ट सक्सेसफुल बीन कलेक्शन इज चूज ओवर है सो लेट मी जस्ट क्रिएट अ क्विक रिपोर्ट न्यू रिपोर्ट एंड दिस ओपन दिस ओके सो हेयर इज द ब्लैंक रिपोर्ट लेट मी जस्ट पुट द पेलेट विंडो टू ड्रैग इन फील्ड आई नीड अटिक टेक्स as in title so title is sample real bean source let me just put it in center center align and let me give the size of the okay this is four okay so now we need to fetch the columns basically from the bean because bean is set so the path will be bean dot person b this is the qualified for path for that class file so now we read the attributes as you could see age and name comes down here so we add the selected fields and we hit okay so now we could see the fields in here so let me just drag it over down there so here it comes okay let me just minimize the things name should be on the left let me just we'll make it a bit easy to see okay so let me just do it bold to this now let me just preview this they should show that six dummy values so here it is name and age as we pushed into the bean so now let me show you with array for the array also you need to just create one go to new java bean set data source and you just need to key in the factory class and the array function which i had created next so this will look like this bean array and the name i have put then factory class is java bean set dot text factory as same as that one just the change is generate bean array and this is an array of java beans so this is same as i shown you this generate bean array so just test it it would be successful okay so i changed it to bean array it shouldn't make any difference as the data so values will remain the same so here it goes same values as previous so see how easy it is setting the values in the bean so that's it for this setting the values in the bean through bean so if you like my video so you could follow me on twitter handle my twitter handle is ankur underscore aug or you could see on facebook linkedin my blog spot is ankur the techie dot blog spot dot in where you could grab more information on jasper reports as i have some posts over there thank you for watching my video you could also visit the official website of mindfair solutions on www dot mindfair solutions dot com and even post views and comments on my video and if you have some queries or questions you can also put them in comments i will love to answer them thank you